Hi everyone, do you offer no bleach blonde services to your clients? Well, if not, it's time to rediscover Special Blonde, Colourston Perfect's High Lift Shades. I'm Chris, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you some hints and tips on how to create amazing looks and services with Special Blonde High Lift. Stay tuned, we will cover topics such as offer more with Special Blonde, what's behind the performance, no bleach services, the beautiful palette, and much, much more. So let's jump straight in. I'm sure many of you have heard of or have used Special Blonde, but have you really pushed the boundaries of what you can achieve with this amazing high lift line? So first of all, what is Special Blonde? It's Colliston Perfect's high lift family. Don't be fooled by the name. It's not only for your lightest platinum blondes. It has a diverse palette offering an array of results from cool iridescent blondes to warm sandy or caramel hues. All of this whilst offering up to five levels of gentle, controlled, clean lift. The formula also contains one third of caring lipids. We'll take a closer look at this a little later on. But before we do, why should you offer special blonde services to your guests or your clients? Firstly, it can help to increase the type of services you offer to your clients. We know that the biggest barrier to coloring hair is the fear of damage often associated with bleach. Have you thought of giving the choice of a no bleach blonde service with Special Blonde? This could be the perfect way of starting the lighter color journey, whether it being soft highlights or a sunkissed balayage. On top of this, it's a one-step service as it lightens and tones the hair in one go, so it can actually help you save time as you can skip the toning step normally done after a bleaching service. And don't forget, Special Blonde needs to develop for 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, so how is this all possible? What's really behind the performance? Let's take a look at this. The formula contains one third of carrying lipids. On top of this, we have the alkalizer, in this case, ammonia, which will help to facilitate up to five levels of lift. We've carefully selected the dyes to ensure the powerful neutralization and tonal qualities of each shade. And all of this is delivered to the hair in a conditioning cream. As you probably know, it's always mixed one to two. The higher developer content will also aid the powerful lift. Now that you know how it works, let's take a closer look and dive into the shade palette and how to choose the perfect shade. Here you can see the dedicated shade lineup. What you must remember is that the end color is always a result of the chosen shade plus the exposed underlying pigment that occurs when you lighten the hair. This is the same for every color service when we lighten, but even more important with high lift as you're lightening the hair more. But don't think that this makes Special Blonde only suitable for lightest blondes. It's amazing to also create soft caramel and sandy hues on darker starting points. Let's take a look at this. Here is a visualization of what the same shade can look like on different starting points. It makes sense, right? Let's look at this as an example. When the starting depth is a five stroke zero, the majority of that tone will go on neutralizing the undertones in the hair. Whilst on the depth of an eight stroke zero, you can clearly see the soft cast of tone even when lifted. The secret to predict the results lies in the starting point. Remember this? A key tool for every colorist, yes, it's the lightning curve. Look at this example. If the natural depth is a six stroke zero, you will expose orange underlying pigments when you lighten the hair. So to neutralize that, we would need, that's right, blue. In the palette, we have shades such as 12 stroke 89 or 12 stroke 81, and these would be ideal choices. A tip here in case you don't have the right shade available or you expect a lot of underlying pigment to come through is that you combine Special Blonde with Special Mix to strengthen the neutralizing power or add more tone. Here you can see some of my favorite shades for neutralization. If you've never tried this, then start with 1.5 grams of Special Mix into 30 grams of your target formula. Once you've played around with it, you can of course increase this in your mixture. And when would you choose bleach over a high lift surface? For your cooler or pastel look platinums, or when you need more than five levels of lift. 
Here you can see two looks, both full head blondes, but their starting points were different, as well as their end color result. Okay, so a few tips on how to get the best out of your results. First, always mix one to two with your chosen developer, one part color with two parts of Weloxon Perfect. 12% is for maximum lift of up to four or five levels, or 9% for up to three levels. And did you know that you can actually use 6% for up to two levels, especially good if you want a sunkier, softer or warmer result. From an application point of view, think about it just like a bleach. So fine sections, thoroughly saturated the hair and applied on dry hair. Always start where the hair is the darkest and you need the most lift, usually around the crown area. Another tip, if your client has a sensitive scalp, use the Marula Oil Blend Scalp Primer before application. And don't get tempted to rinse it off too soon. It needs a minimum of 50 to 60 minutes to develop as it has a big job to do. Lift and tone in one step. Now, if we think of services which are most commonly done with a high lift, you may think of a full head application for a full head blonde finish. And yes, this is a great way of using the palette for your starting point if it's lighter than a six stroke zero and you want a creamy blonde. However, Special Blonde is one product which is suitable for three techniques. Full head blonde services, as we mentioned earlier. Secondly, highlights, often in combination with bleach highlights for a dimensional end look you can see here. However, have you ever tried to use high lift in an isolated freehand application? Look at this end look. It's a great way to introduce lightness to darker bases for a sun-kissed end result. As you don't over lighten the hair and then tone it down, you don't have to worry about the orange yellow fade. Your color will stay within the caramel tones. Now let's take a look at this quick step-by-step -step created by Christelle Baron Howe. Notice that she uses isolated freehand together with textured weaves for this beautiful caramel lights finish.
So here comes my last few tips for you. Special blondes own grey hair, you might ask. Well, you can still use special blonde if your client has a sprinkle of grey, maximum 20%, which is evenly distributed. They will blend in nicely. However, if you have a high amount of grey, the shade might get very tonal over the white hair. Next, how to deal with overtone. This does happen from time to time, and it can be due to existing lightness in the hair or naturally lighter hairline, for example. But honestly, don't panic. It's so easily fixed. Once the color is rinsed off, apply a small amount of mild lightener. That's Blondor mixed one to four with 1.9% Wolloxone Perfect. Quickly apply this to the overtoned areas and it removes the overtones within a few minutes. What I'd really love you to take away from this video is that Special Blonde is a really versatile product which you can use in so many ways. It's important to understand what to expect from the shades at different starting depths to have a successful result with this high lift. Find more inspiration on Weller Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching.